Hey, it's me again. Larry who? Uncle Pleasant. Hey, I'm uh, just throwing this together really quick because I uh, finally got some free time. I had a part-time employer that I had been trying to rope into getting rid of me for pretty close to two years and uh, he finally had a meltdown after having his ass handed to him one too many times. Um, boy, all I can, you know, if you're gonna have an IT business, number one, you should know how to do every part of the job yourself. And you should be able to hire other people who know how to do that job if you don't know how to do it yourself. But nope, not this boob. He hires uh, washed up English teachers and uh, public school IT staff flunkies that, you know, they tell a good story on their uh, their resume and during the interview, but they can't prove any of their claims. So he finally got tired of me handing him and their asses to him, and that's one less part-time employer. So anyway, I've had a lot of people uh, hitting me up since then, you know, since the last update on the Raspberry Pi smart still controller regarding the towers, and a lot of people are doing uh, DIY uh, container farms. And man, I'll tell you those questions, I still haven't made it through all of them. But I've been trying to explain to people via email, you know, my suggestions for how to do things. And I don't think I'm really getting the point across. So I'm gonna show a, an example of what I'm doing here to change my existing uh, tower rack using the drainage system that I've recommended for use in uh, container farms. So if you're building walls of towers, you know, two walls of towers on each side that articulate back and forth either by robotics or by hand on uh, sliding door tracks, however you want to do it. Your drainage system, the easiest way to do it is with uh, five inch vinyl fence post sleeves. Um, a zip grow tower is a, a four inch uh, vinyl fence post sleeve that they put a slice down one side and that's what you plant in, you know, keeping in mind that you use uh, that uh, polyflow pond filter media to hold your your plants in. Oh, I'm sorry, he calls it matrix media. No, it's polyflow brand pond filter media. Sorry, Nate. Um, so what I've done here is I've, I've cut these down. They come in eight foot lengths, but my tower rack is only five feet wide. I cut mine down to a little over five and a half feet so I can drain into my normal gutter down there. I have one three and a half inch square hole here that one of these towers fits in. And then every seven and a half inches, I popped a two inch uh, hole in there so I can still use the drainage system as a well, it's not NFT because it's too deep and it's not really deep water culture because it's not as deep as that. But it's a, it's a happy balance between the two. The reason for that is because in the summertime, the towers are kind of worthless to me out here because of all the heat. Uh, small stature plants, there's not really a lot of them, but you can grow, you know, like in the wintertime, these are great for lettuce, arugula, uh, small herbs and things like that. In the summertime, they're pretty much only good for small herbs and I really don't need to stock up on those because my freezer's full of them. So you use the drainage system to grow larger stature plants like um, basil, Swiss chard, just a number of things. Things that require, you know, more water and a heavier base because you couldn't grow those in the towers. They, they're just too big but you can grow them in there and there's about three and a half gallons of water. So what's that? 35 pounds of water, some, somewhere in there to keep the, the, the plants from knocking the whole drainage system over. If you look at what I was doing previously with these rain gutters on the bottom, which is what Nate Story did with his uh, zip grow towers, those are okay, but they're a single purpose. You could not like 
throw a styrofoam raft in there and turn that into a DWC or NFT channel. Um, and another problem is that when your, your towers start getting heavy with plants, they'll try to lean forward. And when that happens, uh, the water isn't running down evenly on all sides of the tower. So all your roots are gonna congregate on the front of it rather than spreading out and getting the oxygen. Whereas this route here, the tower is kept perfectly straight all the time. So your roots actually tend to go wherever the water is. And if the water is running down all sides of the towers, you got it made, bud. Um, the only change that I've made to the towers is I've had to remove one planter cup from the bottom. So it's now uh, 15 planters rather than 16. And when I go to reuse these again to put towers in here, I have to use a different base that reduces from three inches down to two inches to fit in that hole. Uh, so it'll lose another planter. But either way, you know, uh, 16, yeah, 16 planters for those versus 14, you're not really losing a whole lot. I mean, they're small stature plants like lettuce, that stuff to turn around on that is a week anyway. Um, let me grab one of these here and I'll show you a little closer. Hope I don't get this too close to the camera where you can't see. These caps that are on here, these are what you normally put on the top, but you have to keep in mind that the corners on these are not the same shape as the actual corner of the, the sleeve itself. So you have to Oops, that's still a little damp. Add a little, what I use is uh, polyurethane adhesive in there, pack it in there with a toothpick. The reason being that when water hits it, it swells up and it will fully seal that. So you do that on both ends. Like I said, there's eight two inch holes, seven and a half inches apart, three and a half by three and a half inch square for the tower to drop down into and that's so it can make all that splashing noise that you hear. Helps aerate the water. Then up here we use a uniseal and a five inch piece of three quarter inch PVC. There's an inch and five eighths of it sticking out of that, that five inch section. It's a standpipe so that uh, the water has to come up to at least like three and a quarter inches so that it will be in contact with your net pots when you put them in there. And that's about all there is to it. If you're using those in a, a shipping container setup, you're going, well, gosh, they only come in eight foot lengths. What if I wanna string them together? That's easy to do. I've seen people take these, well, the four inch versions, but it still work. You butt them up to each other and you, then you get this uh, 3M rubber. It's, they're rolls of rubber. I'm really not sure what they're intended for other than maybe anti-skid rubber that you would put on the bottom of something, but it's like 16 in, 16 inch thick rubber with an adhesive on one side. So what they would do is butt those up to each other, wrap that with the rubber and smooth out all the bubbles and it don't leak. I've seen uh, pictures of people doing that in greenhouses and man, some of those setups have, have been almost eight years old, if not more. They're, they're not leaking yet. So th that's the way you connect them together. So I thought I'd show this really quick while I only have one of these rails in here and I still had some of the old tower, the old towers in the drainage system back there to use as an example. I'm going to cut this off here. I'm probably going to do another video on the uh, Raspberry Pi smart still controller here real soon. Like I said, I've just been overloaded with uh, too much to do. Getting rid of that slack part-time employer. That guy really should not be in his line of work. He should hire another, hire somebody who knows what they're doing to run it. But between that and, uh, that cold snap that we had where we, we were below zero, way below zero for like two weeks. 
it was horrible. Um, I had to harvest a whole bunch of stuff out here because otherwise, you know, even with the heating that I got, the humidity will turn into frost and it would kill everything. So I had to harvest as much as I could, get it inside and freeze it. So now I have free time again and uh, I'll be back to doing what I was doing prior to uh, the weather turning south, the shit hitting the fan, whatever you want to call it. Anywho, that's all I got for now. I'll be back. See you next time.